Hi guys, I'm Ro Samper. This is my 2022 Toyota GR Yaris and you're watching Answered. Why the GR Yaris? This is actually my dream car since way before it was conceived. Uh, that's because I grew up as a Gran Turismo fan and also a WRC fan. I, I got to live uh, through the Tommy Mackinnon and Colin McRae battles. So I was really big Evo fan and my dream car uh, for most of my life had been the Tommy Mackinnon edition Lancer Evo 6. And when Toyota announced this car that, well, it was a three-door hatchback, white body, homologation special for rally, 260 horsepower, even developed by Tommy Mackinnon himself, I was like, man, this is my dream car. This is the true successor to, for that Tommy Mackinnon and I knew I had to have it. My favorite thing about the Yari, man, I mean, everything. It's, I would say the way it drives. I got lucky, it was, it was a big gamble when I got it because I didn't get to drive it. I'm used to driving the car, all my cars before I buy them. But this one since it was a special edition, I couldn't get to do that. Uh, so I gambled at it, um, just buy it for the specs. And it was a pleasant surprise, like within the first hundred miles of, I mean, yards of driving it, I was in love with it. Like this feeling from the shifting mechanism, the pedals, the steering wheel, the feedback, the seating position, even though I've heard a lot of complaints from uh, other owners but I'm 5'8", and that's perfect for me. Everything, I, I, I felt really comfortable from the start, and I mean, been loving it ever since. So for my least favorite things, I could think of a couple. Uh, first, uh, I, I would say the tires. It came with uh, Dunlop all season, uh, it's stock, and you could really feel the, the tires letting the car down, like the chassis and the, the car capabilities. Uh, they weren't up to the task. Uh, the other thing is that in Mexico, at first we didn't get the version with the limited slip differential in the front and back. And what that, that does is that it helps to keep the, the car uh, with, with more grip at uh, corner entry, corner exit, and uh, more stable at speed. So it really drives really cool and with it, but it's fixable. You can get them now from Toyota. Another thing that I can think of is uh, the stereo. The screen is really small. It's basically a small tablet. Uh, that they just added on and, but it's easy to leave stuff. The modifications, I started with a white body kit design that I designed myself and it's 3D printed. I widened it 25 millimeters, which is a little bit more than an inch, about an inch in, on each wheel. Uh, this is to accommodate wider wheels and tires and to give it a more aggressive look like the WRC version of the car, but if Toyota make the more aggressive version for the street. So that was the inspiration for the design. Then I upgraded the wheels, like, the, like I said, the wheels and tires, because they were letting the car down. So I got this Kansei Neo wheels uh, in 18 by nine with a 22 offset. These wheels are really cool. They're flow formed. They're super lightweight and strong. Uh, for the tires, I, I'm running the Segnova RS606 R1s that a friend of mine in the UK actually recommended and I've been loving them ever since I got them. I've actually already upgraded the brakes, the brake rotors as well. This car comes with 356 millimeter front rotors and four piston calipers in the front and uh, 293 millimeter rotors with two piston calipers in the back. I maintained the, the stock size in the front, but uh, made them full floating and wave cut to reduce weight. On the rear, I actually upgraded the 293 millimeter to 320 millimeters. So, uh, and they actually are lighter. In the front are uh, one and a half kilograms lighter each wheel, each, each rotor, I mean. And on the back is one kilogram, even though it's bigger. Uh, because of the full floating system, it's actually one kilogram lighter than stock. So if you want to know more about the process of the 3D scanning, the 3D design and the 3D printing of the whole white body kit and also the aero parts, you can follow me on my personal Instagram, which is ro.samper. 
Uh, there you can find the whole process with a bunch of videos and pictures of how I design it and why I designed the, some, some of the features. Also, you can follow my personal brand, which is Roart Engineering. We do custom, fully customized big brake kits and suspension for all cars, depending on the, the purpose, are totally customizable. We can do also customized one-off body kits. So give us a follow and let us know if you like it. Power-wise, I haven't upgraded it yet because I'm getting comfortable with it in stock form. It's a very capable car and uh, I want to progress with it and, and be upgrading the power with my own progress. That's a lesson I learned from my previous track car, which is a 2010 Ford Focus RS, the European version. Uh, that car is front wheel drive and I learned the hard way because uh, I started modding it before really learning to track it and I went way overboard with the power and there, th th it was hard uh, to put the power down on corner exit because that car is just front wheel drive. So with this car, even though it's all wheel drive, I'm gonna take it slowly and, and take my pace with, with it. Uh, with my progress as a driver, I, I wanna upgrade it uh, accordingly. Is it comfortable or stiff for daily or road trip driving? It's surprisingly comfortable. The ride itself, like the suspension, is really stiff, but I think Toyota did a good job with the, with the seat, so it doesn't uh, feel that stiff like in your body. Nice. What has surprised you most about the GR1? Uh, like the quickness, the, it, it, its agility, like it, it, the feel to be so nimble. How many miles per gallon or liter are you getting? Oh man, that's a good question. I, I, I'm not sure, I, I believe around 15 or 16 miles per, per gallon is like the, yeah. Do you feel turbo lag if you're getting onto it from a slow roll? It doesn't get a, a lot of turbo lag, you know, even though it's just a three cylinder uh, and it has a big turbo, the, the stock turbo on this is ball bearing. So it really d doesn't get a lot of, of turbo lag, you know? What's the RPM like and road noise like at 75 miles per hour? Well, road noise uh, on the cabin at highway speeds, it's, uh really normal i i think i i think they did a really good job in toyota it's surprising because it's so light and there's not a lot of sound deadening but uh it's really comfortable it's better than my focus rs and my focus st for Does sure anyone actually fit in the back seat yeah if you're like around my size or lower you can fit comfortably if you're uh a little bit taller uh, you probably hit the roof because it slopes a lot in, in the back. So yeah, it's, it's not very comfortable in the back. Do you feel a big difference between normal sport and track mode? Yeah, you do. Uh, on normal, uh, if, if you push it, if you drive it normally, you really don't notice anything. But if you push it, you can uh, get uh, understeer on the front biased uh, setting, that which is normal and you could get a little tail happy uh, in the rear bias sport mode uh, but still it's a really grippy car so it's really hard to to lose control even if but yeah there's a difference definitely have you driven a fiesta st and if so how does it compare i've had i have driven a fiesta st like the the one that's sold here in the, in the us uh, i believe is the mark seven and a half um it's really it's similar in some things like in the quickness and lightness and and the, the sporty feeling it gets to you but it's really different in the like in the all-wheel drive and it, it's a lot more tail happy this car um, it's a lot more powerful as well it feels super it's not a lot more powerful uh in horsepower per se but it's uh, uh it's super quick you know like the the response the acceleration the feeling in the seat it's uh, a lot uh more extreme in the yaris uh it's like a upgraded uh, like a super fiesta st you know like maybe like a fiesta rs would be probably would you trade it for any car in the world i mean i wouldn't honestly uh, I wouldn't, they are so hard to get. Uh, it's so fun and I've never driven any other car. I've been fortunate to drive a lot of cool cars, but I've never driven any other car that gives me the experience and the feeling that this car gives me. I, I know a lot of people are, find this hard to believe, but I wouldn't. If money were no option, I wouldn't trade it.